everybody. Um, I'm Jacob Scutchmere. I'm going to walk you through the uh, liquid fireworks training um, and experiment. Um, so first off, uh, we'll go through all the parts. This is the Petri dish, um, the food dye, four different colors. White food coloring and soap. Um, I've already put a little bit of water in here. I, you just want to put in enough water so that it covers the um, bottom, so that it fully covers the bottom of the petri dish um, or whatever liquid you're using. So, you know, the experiment in space will be using a mixture of water with this, with the white food dye. Um, on the ground, students can use milk or um, oil or water, or they should really experiment um, and try a bunch of different things. Uh, but, you know, for the purpose of this video, we'll do what the students are doing or what the kits will be doing in space. Um, so we're going to mix this food dye. With the water. Um, I recommend using. A, a decent amount, um, the thicker the liquid is, so the more dye that we use, the better it will look, uh, but you certainly don't need to use the whole bottle. So I think I did about. You know. 15, 20 drops there. Um, students can use a toothpick or, or you know, uh, I'm using a chopstick here. Anything to stir this together. And try to the better we stir it also, the better the outcome of the experiment will be. Um, I think probably best not to show the students this because uh, this will kind of spoil it for them. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more in there just for the purpose of this. Um, so this, the teachers can certainly watch this and, and experiment first before showing the students. Or, um, once it's all mixed together well, you should let it settle. Um, so, you know, we just mix it so everything's kind of moving around still, but you would want to let it settle and then very carefully and gently, the students will drop the food coloring in here. Um, the more careful they are, the better the outcome of the experiment is because we're kind of putting less inherent um, mixing into it. So just a couple drops of a uh, all the various colors. And they can repeat this, you know, as many times as they want. Um, okay. And then uh, just to kind of start the experiment, I'll just take the soap and do one drop of soap. So a little bit more than one, but uh, and then the it should explode. Uh, well, <laughs> the colors will shoot out. Um, yeah, and that's about the entire experiment. Oh, yes, OK, so um, yes, the students would also have a stopwatch started. Sorry, I missed that point. Um, a stopwatch started prior to the experiment. Um, prior to putting the drop of soap in, um, start the stopwatch, drop the soap and then uh, record the whole thing. All right, that's uh, the rest of it. They can clean this out, um, wash it out, get all the soap out of it, and then they can you know, perform this as many times as they would like. 